Behold the wild coast of South Africa, just south of the Umtamvuna River. Spectacular scenes surround us. Vast grasslands and many brown rivers cutting deep ravines into the sandstone and pouring out nutrients into the ocean. So on an overcast rainy day, we made our way along the coast to Mtentu Lodge. It is advised to do the hike with a guide, but due to some miscommunication we missed ours. Consequently, we took on the 27 km hike, experiencing the coastline, river crossings and extreme distance by ourselves. After a long and tiring day, we eventually reached the lodge, where we settled in for the night, because the following day we took a canoe and explored the Mtentu River. Sheltered by high sandstone cliffs and nurtured by the river, coastal scarp forests roam the space between cliff face and river bank. These forests are ancient and they foster a great diversity of species, many of which are endemic. The pristine scenery saturated our sensations with awe. At this point on the river, we stowed our canoes and headed up one of Mtentu River's tributaries. We started scrambling, swimming and wading in search of a big waterfall. After seeing the waterfall, we returned to our canoe, seeing the same beautiful scenes from a different direction.
When we reached the Mtentu River, the water level had risen significantly. I swam around the bend to fetch the canoe. Luckily, that was before I heard the tales of sharks wandering into the river. We spent the rest of our day exploring the river before heading back. We were very lucky to spot a certain marine animal on the way back. After a long and rewarding day on the river, we prepared ourselves for the hike back. To our relief, the lodge managers offered us a lift on their bucky, an offer we eagerly accepted. Our wild coast adventure and stay at Mtentu Lodge came to an end. It was a unique experience, one we'll never forget.